following is an exclusive presentation of MTN, the official broadcast partner of the Big Sky Conference. From MTN Sports, this is Big Sky Conference football, Eastern Washington versus Montana. Winter has returned to Missoula, Montana, but so has the University of Montana Grizzly offense. After a record-setting weekend against Cal Poly, a 57 to nothing shutout, the Grizz serve notice that they are back. But the Eagles come in from Eastern Washington, only two wins on the season so far, but they can salvage their season with a big win against the Grizzlies today before this near sellout crowd. Welcome inside Washington Grizzly Stadium, Jay Cohn with MTN Sports, the NFL uh, coach extraordinaire and Grizzly Hall of Famer Marty Morningwig. Marty, the Grizzlies look like they're back, but they still have their playoff hopes on the line. The Grizz are back, but this is much like last week. It's a must win. It's a playoff atmosphere, Jay. Let's talk about that game last week. The star was Nick Osmo from Portland, Oregon. The red shirt sophomore had a career game. Who knew that he could run in the snow? Nick Osmo, he loves to break tackles. He shows his skill and ability, his lateral movement and ability, and his speed right there. What a, a, a game. It was a career game. You take a tackle breaker and pair him up with a defense that doesn't like to tackle. You have a record-breaking day, Jay. Osmo said he hasn't played in the snow before. It looked like he was born to play in the snow. On the other side of the line of scrimmage, it's the Eastern Washington offense head by senior quarterback Gunner Talkington. Love the name. How about that name? He's got a gun. He can really spin the ball. He loves to throw it deep down the field. He's got a couple of receivers in Robinson and Chisholm. Keep an eye on those two. Grizzly replay kicks off with the first quarter right after this. Let's get things started with the first quarter on Grizzly Replay. It's a beautiful day in Missoula. The sun is out. This was the scene just moments ago, a flyover in honor of Military Appreciation Day. You're looking at a KC-135 tanker at a Fairchild Air Base in Spokane. It's the tanker designed to fly long distances and refuel the fighter jets in the air. They don't need much to refuel this crowd, Marty Morningwig. The anticipation building here is this is, as we've said, a must win for the Grizzlies. Must win playoff implications. You know, one thing the Eastern Washington Eagles did, they won the toss and they took the ball. That's telling me, Jay, that they think they can move the ball against this Grizzly defense. It'll be quite a show at the Grizzly uh, Washington Grizz State. Gain of two for Osmo on first down, brings up second and eight. Johnson drops back, looking at and buying the wide out. Nick Osmo loot on the sidelines across the 30. Finally, drug out of bounds down near the 20 yard line, out of the backfield. It was by cornerback Trey Weed from with the Eagles. Here's another pass to Osmo out of the backfield, breaks the field, and he's in for the score. Nick Osmo picking up right where he left off last week. That was a replay of the previous play, Marty. Uh, it was a very similar play. Just a little swing route to Nick Osmo out of the backfield. Where is Eastern Washington's flat player? So the Grizzlies march right down the field in their first possession. Their defenses look good, Marty. Two, two stops right away, and they put it in play right at the 20-yard line. Yeah, this whole Grizzly team looks like they're firing on all cylinders here today. Lucas Johnson again with Osmo moving in the backfield. He'll hand it to Osmo, and he has a big running right up the middle. Breaks into the open. He could go across the 50. Nick Osmo, the 20. No one's going to catch him. That's another touchdown for the Montana Grizzlies. Now, wow. Right, Jay, what have we had? Four offensive plays and two touchdowns, and they've been significant yardage on the touchdown drive. What a great start for the Grizzlies. This might get ugly for the Eagles of Eastern Washington University. Well, it's a special day here at Washington Grizzly Stadium as the University of Montana is celebrating senior day for 16 players who made the walk before the game started to, in their last regular season home game here at Montana. You have guys like Jaden Dawson and Diari Todd who've spent a couple of years here. 
And then you have guys like Mitch Roberts, Patrick O'Connell, Marcus Wellnell, who have seen the program turn around and become a playoff contender over the last few years. And then, of course, the special one, Bobby and Robbie Houck, sharing a big embrace right before Robbie came out. They've played a lot of football or spent a lot of time watching football, coaching, playing football together, and pretty big moment for the Houck family. Guys, to see Montana up 14 0, 756 to go in the first quarter. Some play action pass. Lucas Johnson over the middle as Mitch Roberts wide open at the 50. Down across the 40 and out of bounds at the 36. So it's second and eight for the Grizzlies. Ball at the 33 yard line. Malik Flowers in motion. The give is to Osmo and he breaks across the 30. Stopped immediately at the 29, but that, that was a big hole. Looked like he might get more right off the bat. Fourth down, fourth and four. They're going to go for it. Osmo will go in motion. Now he comes back to get the handoff. He breaks in the open, gets the first down across the 20, down to the 19, maybe the 18-yard line. The safety for the Eagles in on the stop. Johnson back to pass. They bring some pressure over in the corner. Is that Osmo again? That's Childs. Oh, Isaiah Childs. Had a beat on it and stepped out of bounds at the five. First and goal, Montana with the ball at the five yard line. Lucas Johnson has a wide open Keelan White in the end zone. Another Montana touchdown. Yeah, that's a pick play. Uh, uh, us offensive guys call it a rub. One man comes down inside and screens the defender that's covering the inside receiver. For a near sellout crowd, it might be a sellout. We'll find out in the third quarter. Here comes Malik Flowers on the fly sweep. Breaks into the open and across the 50 for another first down for the Grizzlies. So that's the end of the first quarter from Missoula. It's the Grizzlies 21, Eastern Washington nothing on your Les Schwab scoreboard. You're watching Big Sky Conference football on MTN. Get social with Grizzly fans and follow MTN Sports on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Now, here's the second quarter on Grizzly Replay. A sun-baked Washington Grizzly Stadium. Jay Cohn, Marty Morningweg. What a difference a week makes, Marty. It was snowing so hard last week, we couldn't even see the field. <laughs> Our face in one storm, but it's a big storm today. Johnson completes to Grossman. The tight end is loose at the 30, the 20. Can he get it in? Maybe out of bounds, just shy of the goal line. Grossman, we get him involved. The Grizzlies get their tight end involved. Another weapon that the Grizz have. Nick Osmo in the backfield. The Grizzlies have their tight end set in there. The give is to Osmo, and he's in the end zone for another Montana touchdown. <laughs> Just too easy, Jay. I thought Cal Poly was really struggling tackling the Grizzlies' skill man last week. It's even worse this week. Uh, the, the Eagles of Eastern Washington just aren't tackling well. You saw Grossman break three tackles to get it down to the two. There's, there's, man, this man, Osmo, he is just uh, having uh, another career day. Our counting hours down as well. Here's Lucas Johnson. Skips out, out of pressure, crossing the 40. He's going to run it across midfield, and he goes out of bounds. Out of Bozeman, 215, redshirt sophomore, 6'6. Six, six. An inviting target. That's Isaiah Childs in motion. Johnson, he might want to run it again. No, he's going to hit. Simpson again, this over the middle, across the 40, down to the 38-yard line. So didn't work on the sidelines. Let's go across the middle, the big Ryan. Fourth down, the Grizzlies going for it here on fourth and three. Drew Deck in motion on the far side. The give is to Isaiah Childs, who breaks across the 45. Now across the 35, down to the 30, still on his feet. And the big boys come from behind to shove him over the 30. So the Grizzlies on fourth and three go to the running play. Marty and caught Eastern Washington. A little off guard or press coverage. Osmo in motion. Here comes Johnson. He'll pitch it to Nick across the 20. Breaks at the 15. Down to the 10. Walks into the end zone. And friends, that is another Montana Grizzly touchdown. Another touchdown for Osmo. I believe that's four of them. This man is a touchdown maker. And he just went over 100 yards rushing in the game. And then some. 
He's got 122 yards rushing. That was his fourth touchdown of the game. And look at him put that stiff arm down and just throw the tacklers to the side. Osmo goes in motion. He'll get the handoff up across midfield at the 50. Breaks into the open again. Breaks the tackle, and he's pushed out of bounds at about the 44-yard line. And it's a combination, I suspect. Here he goes again. He almost lost the handle. He breaks into the open. Breaks another tackle down across the 35 to the 32. Let's see what the Grizzlies have in mind here on fourth and six. Johnson throws it to Grossman. And the tight end looks like he has enough for the first down. Now in motion, that's Isaiah Childs. Johnson running for his life, throwing into the end zone. Oh, a collision by the Grizzlies. Childs gets it. Both Childs and Malik Flowers going for the ball. Great catch by Childs. He's great catch. Game. He'll give it to Isaiah Childs, and he's in for the score. And that, my friends, another Montana Grizzly touchdown. Yeah, Jay, that was a walk-in. Let's go, let's go back to Lucas Johnson laying on the turf. He's trying to put a little drama into ordinary people's life, for goodness sake. <laughs> what is he doing? Uh, I'm so happy. Uh, and, and like all Grizz fans, that he got up and jogged off, and he's got a smile on his face. Expectations. Intended for Chisholm. Here's the running play. Blown up in the backfield by Alex Gubner. All right, so here's Talkington now, facing second and 19. As the clock ticks down, the final minute. Talkington is sacked. Levi Giannacaro. Fans get into it. The kick is up. And the kick is no good, just wide to the left. That brings us up to halftime. And the Grizzlies lead it 42 to nothing over Eastern Washington. Take coverage of the Grizz with you. Download our app for your favorite mobile device today. Time for the third quarter on Grizzly Replay. And we are back, Washington Grizzly Stadium, basking in the sunshine today. You can still see all the snow after a big snowstorm hit Missoula on Wednesday. I think that storm that hit last weekend stayed over. Now they're hit, it's hitting Eastern Washington today in the form of points. Wow. Marty Nick Osmo has four touchdowns. The Grizzlies' record is five. Uh, a gentleman that you played with back in the early 80s. It's a man named Greg Eisman. We would call him the Iceman. That was his nickname. That's how good of a football player this man was. And records are made to be broken. And I hope that Nick has an opportunity to go after that record today. And with the kickoff, is that Junior Bergen? Loose at the 40, 30, breaks a tackle down inside the 20. Well, we hadn't mentioned that Junior Bergen, I'm gonna check because there's two number fives. That's Garrett Graves. That was I was thinking because Junior Bergen hasn't seen the field today. He's got uh, a nicked up thigh or something, but Garrett Graves. The Eagles need him at his best. Here's Daniel Britt throwing to the end zone, wide open. Cole Grossman, touchdown Montana. You gotta like Cole Grossman. Man, are they pumping on all cylinders. I'll tell you what, the oil has been supplied by Lucas Johnson, but that was a heck of a throw. The cannon to work. They're, make, they're making their pay today. Here's the fly sweep to Malik Flowers. Breaks into the open at the 45. Out of bounds, or nearly out of bounds at the 50. Cuts back in and gets it down to the 46. And Britt is going to keep it right up the middle, gets the first down and then some across the 35 down to the 34. That's what Bobby Houck says. He also has a 3.8 GPA. Britt gets out of trouble and finds Keelan White crossing the middle down around, out of bounds around the 22. Take the handoff to Childs. Britt's going to run up the middle. He has nothing but green. He's going to get in for the touchdown, Daniel Britt. Now he has a rushing touchdown to go along with a passing touchdown, his first two in his Montana career. Yeah, now he's got his first rushing touchdown. He got his first passing touchdown on the last series. This kid looks pretty good to me now. I mean, he can run and gun. He's running the ball. He's passing the ball. He's escaping. And company have the ball at the 36th. Running play. Breaks into the open. 
Nice play by Eastern Washington. One of the better running plays of the game so far. Offense. That's all we're trying to do here. The crowd trying to generate a little pressure. Well, there's another flanker screen and a penalty flag flies. Pass is complete to Anthony Stell Jr. The crowd wants the defense to stuff him again. Let's see what happens. Sparrows over the middle. Intended and complete. Chisholm again. That's a great catch. This this man is productive, isn't he? This Chisholm. Just got to make a play on the ball. Freshman quarterback running around. Gets out of pressure. Still alive. Little twist move as he gets down to the 21 yard line. Marcus Wellnell in on the stop. Harris again. Going to have another running play. Korea down to the 10 yard line. So here's first and 15. First and goal from the 15 after the five yard penalty. Vesperis back to pass, getting some pressure across the middle. Complete. Nash Fausch on the stop for the Grizzlies, but not before Vesperis completes the pass. Six. 17 left here in the third quarter. Second and goal from the five. Sparris wants to throw it across the middle. And Marcus Will now thought he might have a beat on it, but it went right over his head. And it's complete for the touchdown. The Montana Grizzly defense finally gives up some points. Pass complete. The touchdown to Blake Goble, the tight end who was just called for the false start two plays ago. So he redeemed himself quickly. So we're headed to the fourth quarter. Grizzlies lead it 56 to 7. We'll be back. There's more coverage of the Grizzlies online anytime at montanasports.com. Get ready for the fourth quarter on Grizzly Replay. Grizzlies one of five on third down conversions here this afternoon. But they haven't had a lot of third downs. Has been scoring on two downs. Here's Britt again. Complete. It's complete to Brady Lang, wide receiver out of Bozeman, Montana. There's a good look at Britt from his quarterback slot. And he's going to keep it. Puts a great move and miss. That tackler left grasping for air as Britt crossed the 35 out to the 37-yard line. You see the moves the young man has. Janicaro in the backfield. Now he goes out to the flat. Britt's going to throw it to Janicaro. He has it. First down yardage across the 40. Down to around the 44-yard line. More than doubled them in the yardage category here this afternoon. Britt again in the backfield. Passing and complete. Mitch. Not Mitch Roberts. That's Brady Lang. Brady Lang. Brady Lang again. Thank you, Marty. November 20th. As Daniel Brick gives to Janicaro. Nope, he's going to keep it down around the 40. Breaks a tackle. Loose at the 30 and out of bounds at the 26. Yeah, it's a man makes some nice fakes. Yeah, a little read option. 67 yards. Here's a run up the middle. That's Eli Gilman out of Dassel, Minnesota. The freshman getting a look here. Britt, he'll hand off again. Oh, touchdown, Montana, Eli Gilman. And his first career touchdown for the Montana Grizzlies. Wow. Eli scores to make it 62 offensive points. They had 57 last week. It's getting out of hand. They've got plenty of momentum going into it the brawl of the wild next week and go back to the playoff implications i think they just put a stamp on that so as the clock ticks down the final 30 seconds bobby hawk running out midfield to greet head coach aaron best they they embrace in the middle of the field and it's not the day aaron best had in mind it probably is the game that bobby hawk had in mind the grizzlies improved to Seven and three, that's that seventh victory that was so important. Now they're four and three in conference. Eastern Washington falls to two and eight overall, one and six in conference. It's the first time in 15, 16 seasons that Eastern Washington is not going to be part of the FCS playoffs. Yeah, they took a step back this year, and they're thinking we're going to take two steps forward next year, and they've got to sort of get guys healthy. Uh, the schedule kicked them in the face, I thought, just a little bit. 
and, and uh, I'm, I'm concerned about their quarterback. I hope he's healthy. I'm concerned about the Grizzlies quarterback. I hope he's healthy. We mentioned both the starting quarterbacks, Talkington for Eastern Washington and Lucas Johnson for Montana. Both suffered uh, injuries that knocked him out of the game. Johnson was on the sidelines on crutches, but was smiling. We'll have to wait and see exactly how much of an injury that is. And it's got to be a concern for Montana as they uh, await the big brawl of the wild next weekend down in Bozeman. Thanks so much for watching today as the Grizzlies were all over Eastern Washington by the final score of 63 to seven. And join us again next week for the 121st Brawl of the Wild. Grizzlies head to Bozeman to take on the Cats for the Great Divide Trophy. I'm Jay Cohn. We'll see you next Saturday. Have a good night, everybody.